Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as was on a Friday, we've got your uh, month ahead look ahead. This is going to take us into the second half of July. So we're going well into the summer now uh, with the uh, month ahead 30 day updates. We'll see what the JMA and the CFSV2 uh, long range ones have to say about weather next month in a moment. Coming up later on this afternoon, video number two, we'll have a detailed look at weather next week to 10 days and also tomorrow's uh, hot weather, of course. And then tonight, I've got the ENSO update uh, coming up for you for this month. So that'll be around 7 o'clock and we'll be uh, going over what's happening in the Equatorial Pacific Ocean in terms of El Nino and all of that kind of stuff. So busy old day at uh, Gals Hope you're enjoying all of the videos but we're starting off with JMA Friday so we're going to have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts broken down into which bits for the next four weeks so um, looking at the North Pole view down first of all from the JMA this is the uh, North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here mid latitudes are around there uh, yellow orange and red extrapolate to above average heights which is high pressure and blue to below average heights uh, which is low pressure. So this is week one, taking us from the 28th of June through to the 5th of July. We find we've got an area of above average heights centre very close to the country in the weekend and also to our east and southeast. Uh, got uh, below average heights though up to the north. So low pressure is away to the north and west. High pressure is over to the south and southeast of us. And uh, that allows us to draw in quite a warm sort of southerly southeasterly type wind there so a brief amount of dry weather and certainly starting off very warm or hot becoming cooler and fresher as we go along this is how week two is looking this takes us from the 5th to the 12th of july still going for above average heights to be very close to the country almost over top of us Low pressure is in the middle of the Atlantic just there and also away to our east and northeast. So the jet will be going something a little bit like that. Uh, you expect a lot of dry and warm weather to be on offer with that from the 5th through to the 12th of July. Uh, it looks like the JMA has shifted towards a much drier and warmer sort of first half to July. Then it all goes rather strange looking as we get through to weeks 3 and 4. This is the 12th through to the, 6th, uh, through to the 26th of July. And it's just not average heights really through the country. There's no particular high or low pressure area that's in evidence. Possibly a bit of a return of the westerlies, perhaps. Maybe turning a little bit more unsettled. But again, there's nothing really uh, to work on there from a height anomaly perspective. Let's see if we can uh, find out what's going on through the temperature and precipitation anomaly. So this is the tropical and mid-latitude view. The UK is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as we're looking at it with this uh, view. So a reminder of the, um, week one, 500 millibar height anomaly with above average height centre pretty much over the top of the country and to our east. We would send the jet stream northwards and we bring up some pretty warm southerly southeast winds. So a lot of dry and quite warm weather on offer there. Temperature anomalies for the uh, week ahead over the 28th of June to the 5th of July, uh, average to above average, warmer than average across many parts of uh, Europe as well. A hot week coming up actually across the central and southern parts of Europe. So it's a mainly uh, warmer than average week ahead. And on the dry side too, precipitation anomalies are below average, a warm and dry week coming up. Uh, albeit starting off quite hot and then seeing the temperatures easing off a little bit as we get through to next week. Week two looks like this. It's the 5th to the 12th of uh, July with above average heights again over the country. So you'd expect another pretty settled week coming up there. If anything, it's a little bit warmer actually this week. Uh, temperature anomalies are in those yellow colours, 1 to 2 degrees above average. So a very warm week there being forecast by the JMA from the 5th through to the 12th of July. And still pretty dry, that area of high pressure over top of the country. It remains drier than average. Um, warm and dry up to the 12th of July. And then we've got that odd looking chart for weeks three and four. So we can't really glean all that much from the 500 millibar height anomaly. Temperature anomalies are lowering though through this two weekly period from the 12th to the 26th of July. We're still a little bit above average, but it's certainly cooler uh, in this two week period than it is in the 
uh, in week two. Uh, and precipitation-wise, just like it's turning a bit more unsettled as well, precipitation anomalies are going uh, above average, particularly so, interestingly, for England and Wales. So this implies, because it's a two-weekly 500 millibar height anomaly, I suppose it probably implies there's quite a bit of high pressure still for week three, maybe, but by week four, that's broken down and it goes much more unsettled. Something like that could be going on. It could be a bit transitional. You never know with a two-weekly anomaly. But overall, it does look cooler and more unsettled in those uh, two weeks from the 12th through to the 26th of uh, July. So more unsettled later in July, actually, with uh, with the JMA. Let's have a look at CFS V2, see how that compares. So, again, these are 500 millibar heights, break down to weekly periods. The first week period takes us from the 28th of June to the 4th of July. The coming week is dominated by high pressure, above average heights, centred almost over top of the country, a little bit to our west. Lots of dry weather on offer with that low pressure and the jet stream away to the north. So, plenty of dry weather starts off hot and then cools down as we get through to next week. Now, very much in line with what the JMA is showing for week two, the 5th to the 11th of July, keeps that area of above average heights over the top of the country, below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic and away to our northeast. We do something like that with the flow with the jet. So, again, you would expect a lot of dry weather uh, there in week two. High pressure almost centred over the top of the UK. Plenty of dry and fine conditions probably becoming very warm. Uh, week three is the 12th to the 18th of July and we start to take that area of high pressure and move it to the west of us. So it's still mainly dry actually man. it's blocked off the Atlantic so there's no real low pressure but the only difference is that the wind direction and the jet stream is starting to come in from the northwest. It's so just turning cooler, probably still mainly dry and settled but temperatures cooling down and for the northwest possibly a little bit more showery. And then through to week four, which is the 19th to the 25th of July. Perhaps now a few hints that it's turning a bit more unsettled. Below average heights uh, sort of appearing around Greenland and Iceland. No particular area of high pressure or above average heights. And um, possibly implying that the jet stream is starting to move in from the Atlantic. So that possibly a cooler and more unsettled week there from the 19th to the 25th of July. But that's week four, so it's a very long way out. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are close to average, warmer than average to the south of us, particularly so through the central parts of Europe. Um, but otherwise, uh, near normal, actually. That's because it's starting off hot and then it's going cooler next week. But week two looks really warm. This is the 5th to the 11th, and both the JMA and the CFS V2 are in agreement about this week, the second week uh, of our forecast period. It's the 5th to the 11th of July, much warmer than average there. So quite a hot week coming up there. And those mainly dry, uh, um, uh, mainly warm conditions, I should say, continue into week three, which is the 12th to the 18th of July, still significantly above average temperatures there. So we do get a very warm couple of weeks in weeks two and three. And even week four, which I thought perhaps looks a bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled, even that's coming out warmer than average. It's the 19th to 25th of July. So quite a warm week, um, quite a warm July, I should say, coming up uh, if uh, the CFS is right. Precipitation-wise, so the coming week from the 28th of June to 4th of July is much drier than average, substantially uh, so. Uh, then we go through to uh, week two. This one also hints at being a little bit on the drive and average side, but less so than week one. So there's perhaps a bit more showery weather going on uh, there, but it is still substantially uh, warmer than average, of course. It's still mainly dry, really. Week three is the 12th to the 18th of July, beginning to lose the signal now, going close to average, and then that continues into week four again. We've lost the signal, really, so the 19th to 25th of July just comes out close to average, but really it's just, but it's got no signal for those uh, weeks, uh, those uh, sort of week three, week four precipitation anomalies. So, uh, what can we make of uh, this uh, JMA Friday this week? So, um, we're starting off, of course, high pressure dominating. Going to get hot weather in the next day or so. Going to cool down next week. But still a lot of dry weather on offer next week. First week of July, we'll have plenty of dry conditions. Um, and uh, just a bit cooler 
um, fresher. Now we go further into July. The second week of July, interestingly, is being signalled with both the GMA and the CFS to be dry and potentially hot through that week. Uh, before maybe starting to cool down and turn a bit more unsettled around the middle part of the month and then into the second half of the month. But certainly the first half of July is now shaping up to be pretty decent with uh, JMA Friday this week. A lot of dry and warm weather to enjoy if, big if, the JMA and the CFS are right for the first half of July. Uh, remember, this is just a snapshot of how these models are looking today. They could all look very different next week. So, um, not to be relied upon any forecast beyond sort of five days comes with a huge health warning. It's just a snapshot of how the models are looking today. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week to 10 day video update. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.